Before you start creating a calculator, ascertain how many inputs your calculator will have. For example, say, we want to create a car loan repayment calculator. We know that in this calculator, we will use five inputs. Purchase price, down payment, trade in value, interest rate, and length of loan. So, we log into spreadsheet. The first dialog box asks you to give your calculator a name. Next dialog box asks you, how many inputs? Since there is no graph, we say no. Template will open now. It will have five input fields and one last row for result and reset buttons. We will change the labels for each input field. Select the right type for the inputs, we can also change the name of Calculate button. Please note that the result field starts with the first row after the blue line. Put a label and formula in another cell. The input values are stored in G column. So formula should have reference with respective cell in G column. For example, purchase price input value is G2. Down payment value is G3, likewise. Once you find that the calculation of your calculator is correct, Go and click Publish. Now, go to your website and click Settings in GS2WP Calculator. A shortcode for the calculator is created automatically in your WordPress site. Copy the shortcut and paste in the page. Your calculator is live now.